And like here, this was broken before I got it. So really, you can see how he welded a piece and in, oh. in shipping or something, I never got that piece. So oh. I, I really need to take a little piece of cardboard and yeah. maybe the day even before, because once it's on the car, how am I gonna, how am I gonna yeah, do it? Yeah, let's do it real quick. Just make a little template. Yeah, make a little template. Hey YouTube, it's Faye, and for today's video, yes, what you heard is correct. We'll be modifying the Smoke Unit carburetor. I'm, I'm gonna get weird, Danny. Okay. Templating is uh, not one of my strong suits. Mm -hmm. Oh, so you that, and yeah. There we go. Would you I, like to fill this spot and then put little tabs on it, or do you want it to go I, larger I think than? Just go, you know, maybe an eighth of an inch bigger all the way around. Love it. So yep. it would just sit right there. I'll put a gasket on there. In fact, that's what we'll do. We'll put a round gasket. Love it. Oh, I have, probably have a gasket. We can lay under if you wanted the gasket just to. What did you find? So Pro 60038, because I know y'all want to go out there and get one. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, nice. Well, all right. difficult weld there's two dissimilar metals the top of this is yeah. aluminum but it's kind of a little bit like pewter a little bit it's, it's not just pure aluminum gotcha. so trying to weld a piece of pure aluminum that we have a nice clean aluminum over to this that's not really aluminum he had difficulties he got it done but it broke off as soon as something hit it so I think the smart thing to do now is instead of trying to damage it and trying to weld it on here is I'm gonna pull the lid off the top of the carb anyway smart. And, not gonna hurt because we want to see make sure that it's not d dirty inside. Right. This has yeah. been ten years since this. Oh been my god! Sitting. Yeah, clean it anyway. Um, and I wouldn't mind to see the inside anyway to see what size. Well, what, what kind of trickery he did in there anyway. So <laughs> I've been dying to do that anyway, but I hadn't. Now wanted, you wanted got to your touch excuse. It. I got to. So take it off because look. look. Look at that. Awesome. Yep. So now what we'll do is I cut I'll it just, a little bit on the outside of the line. You all saw me do that just now. So yeah, and we're gonna we got too much material, which is a good thing. A good thing because now we can do, trim it exactly there exactly. because look, we got plenty of room. Right. Um, and if, once we get th this off too, we might want to trim this piece to, to sort of those. like be a little bit more smooth. So we'll make the yeah. two together in a perfect way. Somehow. And you can see all we need to do is have enough material there to right. hold the gasket. Right. Just right. so it has air filter, we're not getting in the dirt. Oh yeah, and you can see how far off I was here. This is where I had a little bit of. Yeah, we, we left it big. That's good. That's yeah, yeah. Yeah, but yeah. we're gonna we're gonna trim it up so it looks really nice when we're done. Yeah. Really, I've been dying to get in here. I mean, we need to at least look at it. Oh yeah. We can't just assume that the gaskets aren't dry. I don't want to do much to it besides look at it and preserve what it is. But interesting, he added this little screw here, and I don't know why they normally don't have a screw right here. So he drilled it and tapped it, and we don't know why yet. Okay. I'm just. I'm just, oh my God! I I'm, feel like yeah, we're I I'm, feel like we're historians. Yeah, we're just remarking. Uh, yeah. That's not normal. So I don't, I don't know, maybe there's a air passage or something. We'll find that out. Also, we are on an archaeological expedition. And, you know, I've wondered why do they all have GM two barrels? You know, you know why everything has a GM two barrel? Because he had a lot of them. They were left over from the Buick project. So, ah, you gotcha. know, he could he could jet any carburetor to work. It didn't it wasn't anything special because people ask me, can you give me the number of the carburetor? It's just a GM two barrel. It's a Rochester two barrel. It's, it's not that that there wasn't anything specific that you needed this carburetor. This one over here, it has a Hitachi carburetor. I believe it's a Hitachi carburetor from my days. It looks like a Volkswagen Rabbit. So anyway, uh, that one has a different kind of carburetor. Yep. Um, but the, the majority of them have two two barrel Rochesters, and the answer given to me was just had a lot of them. Yep. Just had a lot of them. It's nothing uh, special, except for that little hole there. I don't know why I'm dying to get inside of this thing. <laughs> okay, are we going to pull the lid off right now? Uh, that's and let's see the what I'm ready for. I'm ready. Let's see. I got to finish my little wanna, piece here. We gotta... I don't want to break the gasket, but if we do, that's not a problem. With that, that's It's just a quarter jet. But let's just see where I can, if I can find a place to lift and not. How about here, Danny? 
Yeah, that's a good spot. Not like you could do any more damage. Oh, oh this, perfect. This good spot. I already got this little choke rod off. Um, we got our accelerator pump off on this mm -hmm. side, our choke rod on this side. Anybody doesn't know, this choke rod controls the choke. This this little accelerator pump here controls the accelerator pump. So that's gonna stay in. So I think we're ready to go. Yes. Okay, the gasket needs to stay at the bottom. Here it goes, here it goes. Remarkably clean. Look at that for, for, so here's the accelerator pump and we will check it as well. Um, let's lift this gasket up so far. The gasket is intact. Right in the center, these are, this is your metering rods. And yep, yep, yep. And what it is, is there's a little cut in the gasket that you rip and you put around, not rip, you move. This gasket's so old, I'm gonna try to lift the metering rod up. There it is, it came up. <gasps> so there's a metering rod for the inside. And then now this is gonna just come right up. And we kept it with the metering rods. Yep. So everybody's gonna wanna know the size of those meter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I don't think I ever in my life, can anybody see this? Yeah, put your hand behind it. That's awesome. There you go. Yeah, right there. It's like a needle. How in the world did he machine those? Oh my gosh. They are so small. So thin, like they could be damaged so easily. That one even looks a little bent right there. I know, I'm stressed out just like looking at them. That one is, is a little bent. And I wouldn't want to even try to straighten it because... No. Oh my God, if we bend that, we're not going to duplicate it. So, and you see how they're, they're stepped? Yes. And that's for the different fuel curves. As <gasps> it moves up, it changes. So this is all analog. You see how thin it looks? Yes. Now look how I turn it sideways. Look how fat it gets. Oh my God. And it's actually under a microscope with my glasses. Man, with my, my, with, <laughs> it's actually, he sat there and he filed it flat. So that's why when you move it sideways, one way it's like nothing. Yeah. The most paper thin. Yeah. And then this way it gets fat again. Oh my gosh. So they're not round machined. They're actually cut like Hand that. Hand machined. Yeah. I don't oh know. My I mean, God. they're both the same way. That's why when you look at it one way, it's just, look, there's my hair on my hand. And it's about as thick as their hair. But then when you rotate, it gets real fat. Wow. Smoky. The mystery continues. Yes. That looks absolutely perfect. It's so Did much easier when, when someone does all the work for me. And I, and hey, I, and, no, and, that was team effort. And all I have to do is go, Look, look what I did. Team no. effort. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, there was some, there that, was some uh, mating that had to happen there. There was yeah. a little bit of trimming up. And that's going to be a nice uh, thickness. That's going to be it awesome. It really, really is. So yeah, maybe, what are we thinking about trimming this down? Let, let's do a test fit of the, um, of the gasket. Of the gasket it, again. Yes, yeah. we'll lay it on there and then trim it. We'll give I'm, it a little. I'm feeling that that looks a little bit extreme. They look yes, it, yes it extreme. does. Yeah. There's our gasket. Let's see here. <laughs> and this is what people are going, what are you talking about? Here we go. See? And that, that's what we wanted oh, for, actually, the, for, actually, for the rough that cut. Extreme. That is, maybe that's yeah. not extreme. I don't know. How, how we we just want? wanted it bigger so that it can hold the gasket and to have a place for this to sit on. So look, I think we're... Actually, yeah. No, that's I think gonna it's awesome. Be, that's going to be perfect. Yeah, it'll be underneath oh, yeah. there. Everyone's going to see it. We no, don't, it looks great. We don't know yeah. how he did it. So Now, are we going to put some tabs on, on there to sort of help center it or, at all? I don't all, think so, be, because good? when I ran it, I just ran it just like that. It, it fits right in there. Okay. So it's, it's not, really not going to go anywhere. No. Okay, good, 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 um, good. He had to have had a little bracket. I'm sure. So we'll fab yeah. something that just we'll got fab lost. Something. Yep. Yep. And, yep. I, and I have one, one of these brand new, but I think we need to, we need no, to. No, we need to use that one. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, use, yeah, there's, uh, there's no. The, um, a lot of people, there's controversy on the air filter, but I don't care what anybody says. Smokey Enix says there wasn't a better air filter for airflow. Yes. The controversy is, and yes, that this is foam. And when they get old, it just deteriorates and it gets in And your, it goes in there. Yep. Don't yep. let it get old, people. That's yeah. That's the first thing. The next controversy, if it backfires, it catches on fire. Don't let it catch on fire. The, the purpose is if you want airflow, there's nothing better than this. Air doesn't have to go through an air filter and turn. Air doesn't like to turn. So for airflow, there's nothing better for this. Yes, it, it's... it's Throw away these filters and replace them, you know, and don't let your car catch on fire. You know, the people have gone, oh, I backfired, my car caught on fire because of that stupid thing. Well, then learn how to tune. Sorry. <laughs>
Okay, it's not the prettiest, but you're welding dissimilar metals. So you're actually kind of like soldering, but I'm gonna dress this top up so we don't lose any of these pieces in the motor. The bottom, I'm gonna just dress it a little bit, but we'll leave it like that. Look at that. And that came out awesome. Oh, that looks I mean, look so at the, good. And really, it's just there to keep dirt from going in there. And oh, it, yeah. Yeah, it was a two barrel, and he wanted this four barrel air cleaner on it. So there's our gasket. That's gonna go on Fits top right there. Perfectly. And then this is gonna go right there, just like that. So now what we're going to do, I think, is be a good idea. It can't move that way, that way, or that way, but it can move this way. Yep, yep. So, so when you put a little tab there to hold it in place. Yeah, I think if we just do some kind of little tab right there. I mean, Love it. I'm mean, even thinking it's probably getting a little too crazy, but let me see about craziness because we're all into crazy. Well, it can also hold the gasket in place, too. Well, I was thinking if we made it taller. Mm-hmm. Oh, here it goes. Here we go. Here it goes. It doesn't need this at all, but... If we made it taller. Oh, it could hold it down as well. So we could you, slide you see, it in. So we just have I, to imagine installing it. I see, you I see, see where you're going I, with that. Yeah. I see like where that. you're going. Now, if could, could we lift and slide it forward? There's only one way to know. We can always hollow it out a little yeah. bit once it's on there too. So, and if it doesn't work, then we'll just end up just putting the little piece there. Just so that it can't roll. We're gonna have a clamp down, so it's not gonna go anywhere. But it, it wouldn't be kinda cool. That'd be little, very cool. A little. Well, shit, give me that. Let me make it. There you All go. right. So, All right. also making a little piece over here. Danny just made this template. Don't worry, y'all. Yes. I'm not the only one that makes templates around here. There you go. <laughs> and everybody, make templates for everything. Yeah, it's just, gonna go there. It's gonna bolt down. So I'm gonna do a little bit more cutting and fabbing today. when somebody else fabs the pieces for you. Look at that. Also, you're not as critical when it's someone else's rather than yours. Oh. <laughs> Actually get it done. <laughs> and that's gonna be kind of cool because then we're just gonna lift and slide it off. Yep. And it's gonna just keep that on there. All right, so Danny is about to do a super challenging weld. And she, and she is being serious. Sometimes, so was, we're gonna weld right, right here and it seems like, what are you talking about? It's two little thin pieces of metal. The problem is they're not butt welding. So the heat wants to just transfer to different directions and you end up burning the crap out of everything before you weld it. What's going to happen to this whole piece up here is going to want to burn before it welds there. So it's literally an angled welding. Uh, anybody that knows welding knows that it's one of the hardest kind of welding to do, especially a fine little weld. Oh, yeah. yeah. We want it to look good. Because I'm trying to get that little weld in there, but as you heat it up, it burns everything around it. So I'm going to just try to put one little tack on both sides, and but... Wishes luck, because really, <laughs> something this delicate could be hard. Wishes luck, people. Wishes luck. Look at the little <laughs> tungsten. Oh God! You want to pick the tungsten that's the same thickness as the rod you're going to weld with. You want to pick a rod about the same thickness as what you're going to weld. Okay, so here's the end result. 
of Danny's welding that little piece on. Oh my god, it looks amazing. And also, welding this was pretty difficult. We just stuck some JB Weld in there, not only to make it a little bit stronger, but also just like to make it look nice. So this is the old school JB Weld. It's gonna take a while to cure and get hard. Uh, and then, of course, Danny's gonna sand it and make it look perfect, isn't he? Of course he is. That's Danny's style. I think Smokey's gonna be so happy. Smokey yes, yes. is smiling down on us right now and saying, you guys are a little crazy. Because we can see all the little tabs he made. So that would write up his style. That That is right up. Yep. That's You know how you do stuff in theory and it's prototype and then you, you try it and then a lot of times your mind comes up with something that just doesn't ever work out like oh god oh yeah I, okay. I can relate to that so, so, so <laughs> we came up with this little idea of there's a template and look at that a little idea because once it's on there it can move still right air cleaner can move their filter can move their cleaner filter. and we don't want anything to get in the engine and destroy it yeah and look at this little prototype thing we did it goes in oh my god it fits, per and it fits perfect <gasps> oh my god it fits per and it, oh it my god so now it can't move anywhere and it's just Oh my perfect. god. And then this thing that you came up with, and this is your second one. The first one was really, really good. It was perfect. I I, um, I, I wanted to make it perfect. Just, it wasn't well, perfect well. enough for Smokey, so. And look at that. Oh, I don't even have to trim it anymore. No, no, because it's going to be, and we're going to put some Loctite so we don't lose the nut on there, but it's done. Oh my I mean, god, it looks it's, amazing. <laughs> and Smokey put this little tube in there, and that's still the original piece, so he had that idea of doing it. And we have a little bit that, I think it's, look, it's not, it's tight. It's tight. It's. Oh my God. Well, final piece. Let's do the air cleaner on there. Yeah. Oh yes, yes, yes. So, so, it's 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 a it's a it's a work. Look at that. There it is. So we have a little screen there that yep. goes there. Yep. This yep. goes here. Oh my God. I and this is original. It's actually a pretty good it. shape, and it's we, and that's what <gasps> that's the one that came with it, and that's the one that's on, on the videos. So look at that. So now we have a we're just perfect. Another reason he, uh, that he wanted to do this also, we, we want to, he wanted, we want this as well, the heat from under the hood. Right. So it, normally, thou shalt not get air from under the hood. Gail Banks, right? Gail Banks, you know, that uh, um, in this particular instance, thou shalt get air from under yeah. the hood. <laughs> <laughs> we want the hottest air possible for the hot vapor. Yeah. So man, that is just not even a, a patch job. That is actually, uh, I mean, golly. It's almost like professionals did it. And he clearanced that, that accelerator pump to clear that air cleaner. Oh, that's what you had mentioned. Yeah, see how tight it is right there. he shaved it. Yeah, yes. it's so, and there, look. Now we know why he shaved it. So we are, we are ready for, I'm, for that. This is cool. I'm stoked. So we took something that was kind of like a bummer or what are we going to do about this? And we may have, have, have overdid it. I don't think we overdid it. No, we made it perfect. We just perfect. took it and made it just perfect. Yep. It's just perfect. But this little tab, uh, you know, we never had the piece. But he had to have done something similar. I don't know. Maybe did or didn't. Now but we've we got to go sleuthing for old photos and see if we can find something. Yes. Like and in the blueprints in, or something. In the old photos and in the old videos, this is the air cleaner. That's the air I mean, cleaner, this is yeah. the one that came with the engine. Right. And it was just kind of just laying on top because they had been broken. Oh. So I don't know. And that piece. So it could there, have been broken a while ago. Yes. It, did it break on him? Did it break in shipping? Did it break when he pulled it out? Who knows? And I never got that piece. Because if we would have had it, we would have put the original piece back on. But we know he did something like this because he did do the welding there. And it's so hard to weld dis dissimilar metals unless. You're the master of. I don't understand <laughs> why that happened. It yeah. was a mistake. <laughs> uh, well, for you, you accomplished it. It was because I didn't know that I couldn't, so I did it. So let that be a lesson to all of you. <laughs> and, and that was one of well, one of Smokey's words because you didn't know. You could, like I said, you don't know. You, you go to college and they, they teach you what you can't do. Exactly. Yeah, as like, opposed to I didn't know I couldn't. Just like the Wright what? brothers, man. Yeah, and you did. Uh, it, was, so. it was a mistake. Well, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you're watching this during our premiere, stay tuned because Danny's video is next where he's going to be going actually really in depth on this carburetor, talking about all the components. What else are you going to be talking about yeah, in that video? Everybody's always wanted to see the inside, the jetting, and there's all kinds of myths about it. It's a lean burn or is it rich or lean? Stay tuned for the video and you can actually see the inside the carb and what we found. Yeah, absolutely. And if you're watching this after the fact, no big deal. Click the link right above right here that's going to go to Danny's video. All right, we'll see you in our next premiere or our next video. See ya, bye!